What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Carp Angler TV. Todd Grubb here from Fishing Grubs. Guys, if you uh, are not subscribed to the channel here, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well, so you're notified when we drop videos. Now, normally, we've been putting out videos like based on uh, certain products that we have on the carpangler.com website, but starting now, all of my videos that I used to put on my channel are gonna be going on the carpangler.com channel when it comes to carp fishing videos. So we're gonna be putting out uh, videos, obviously, of course, on new products that come out and things we want you guys to know about, but we're also here to have some fun as well. So come along with us. Today is our first episode uh, on the Carp Angler TV YouTube channel. And uh, we're actually going out in New Hampshire with Fred to test out the brand new rod and reels that Rafael gave us uh, as like a signing bonus for joining the team. And let me tell you something, these rods and reels are freaking luxury, luxury. He hooked us up with the Century SGR uh, blanks and these things are freaking unreal. These ones have the titanium guides. Basically, uh, these rods are one-offs. I mean, they're made, not one-offs, but they're fairly custom. They're made when they're ordered. Uh, and these things are freaking unbelievable. The quality is unlike anything I've ever owned. Uh, now I do work, as you can see, at a high-end tuna shop. And like I say in the video, when I'm using it, uh, like the real seats, like everything from top to bottom is high quality. It's like the quality that I would see in some of our tuna stuff, like high-end tuna gear. And it's stuff we're using with carp. Um, so I was very impressed, it's super lightweight. And these things are just like, it's crazy. So Fred and I decided to go to a venue that was fairly weedy, and we actually really put these rods to the test. We both each caught a fish on the new rods, um, and we got them paired up with the Daiwa Emblem 45s. Fantastic reels. Um, and my first go around with a quick drag system myself, so <laughs> I'm just feeling them out. At this point, since this video, I've caught a good amount of fish on them. I uh, just took a trip to upstate New York, and I'm really, really digging the new rods um and reels anyways fred and i hit up this venue specifically because it's super weedy both of our fish got caught up in the weeds like crazy so we both really put the pressure on these rods really put these rods to the test and they outshined like it, it was freaking phenomenal i think fred says it uh they are his new favorite rods we are just overly impressed by the sgrs and as you should be uh if you're paying that kind of money for them so folks please enjoy the video have some fun and make sure you're subscribed because we're going to be dropping videos like this all the time from now on uh there there will be no carp fishing videos on my uh youtube channel i'm going to be putting all of my carp fishing videos here on this channel uh, for the most part i'm sure i'll put one or two up here and there depending on if something crazy happens or whatever um, but for the most part all the fun fishing videos that we do now are going to be here on the carp angler tv channel i hope you enjoy Stick around. Yes. Bitch. Another catfish. Thanks, carp angler. Dot com. What's a carp? It's a nothing. It's a carp? No. Oh, wait, we don't have a fucking net. No, it's right in the front. First one on. Woo. That actually feels like a pretty decent fish. Oh, hold that. Come on. 
coming up. Careful because there's some wood down there. I'll take that first if you want to get to that. Can you see him? Did I lose? You got him? Yep. Is there even a fish on there, he says? Yeah. Is he in the net? Yep. That's, That's your butt, a nice right? common. He felt nice. Dude, he's in some weeds. Nice, dude. This thing, like a dream, Fred. <laughs> That's dope. We did it. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this puppy up. You want me a video or do you think? Here, go ahead. Oh, God. Ooh, first fish on the new rod, baby. I was gonna say that's big looking for the weed from there. <laughs> Definitely a small common though. It's a pretty healthy fish. Oh yeah, dude. Not bad, huh? Mm. Pretty. This is nuts. <laughs> Pounds, boy. <laughs> oh, the double stack. Not a bad fish. Not bad at all. That ain't that bad of a fish. Not at all, Fred. Solid. Solid high teens. Yeah. My teens. Fred, um, Connor would call that a 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's sling this baby up. Not a bad first fish on the rods. Rafael, what do you think, baby? Let's go. We still got some, uh, some darkness, so we're going to sling this baby up and hopefully get another one for Fredo so he can talk about how nice those reels felt. I, I mean, the rods and the reels paired up. Fighting this fish was insane. All right, let's get her in the water. How the colors on this one? I know, so dark. Nice, dude. Nice and dark. Oh shit. Stuck? He's got him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's way the fuck down there. Look him go. Fred, run down. Uh, do you need to run down there? Yeah, where's the other line? Out? Line's there. Oh yeah. The, yeah, you're way over it. That's what I'm saying. Look at him way back there. Fuck, man. 
Uh, yeah. I don't know where to tell you to be. You might want to get back over there. Oh, he's going for it. Fred has lost his ability to give a shit, folks. Oh my god, the freaking fish is way out there, guys. It just surfaced way out there. What's crazy is this is like literally the exact situation we wanted because we wanted Fred to be able to see see what the rods could do. What? I mean, I'll come out there and net them if you need me to. I got you. Fucking legs up there at the top of the rod. How? There it goes. There's an inline, so it's fucking sliding on your line. Where is it, Fred? Right here, I'm just pulling him through the road. That 40 pound mirror. <laughs> Come out in front. Huh? Come out in front and maybe the one. Dude, that's a fucking tank. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Here's a little bit bigger. That's a nice fish. You're a bill? So nice. Fuck <laughs> yes, yeah. Dude, did it. <laughs> you want to take your, your prize from me? Dude, through the weeds, through everything, dude. This fish put yeah, you I, through I, the I, ringer, dude. On. I'll tell you one thing. That rod felt nice. <laughs> Yours is way fatter than mine. It's gonna make it go faster. It is. <laughs> and darker. Yeah. Mine's wicked dark. We don't know what it looks like after sitting in the sling. This is true. You wanna either hold this or touch it up? Yes. Right on this nice grass. Nice little pillow. Oh man, I tell ya. Yeah, baby! Talk about a freaking Ferrari, huh? Right. Holy shnikes. Just watching Fred fight that fish and the amount of crap that fish went through, and Fred was easily able to keep that fish pinned throughout the entire thing. Let's put this in perspective. I cast to the right over here. That way. When I pick up the rod, the fish is down here at the fountain. <laughs> like already in the weeds. I pulled him through two lily pad beds and these weeds, <laughs> like these these reeds. No problem. No problem. No problem. I could have pulled harder, but I was babying it. <laughs> so we, did, we honestly didn't know how big the fish was because it was just freaking running through so many weeds. Double sack corn got us both fish. Ooh. 
jauh Well, folks, we did not <laughs> we did not have a ton of time. You know, we got here late last night as the sun was going down. The sun is now coming up, and we gotta go. Um, but we really, really wanted to get a couple fish on the new rod. The new rods. Oh my goodness, this guy is a tank. He's so angry. He's so mad. That side's better than it is. Alright. This dude's just a tanker. Oh, he's finally allowing me to get him up. What a cool fish, guys. That is epic. So, Fred and I each got a fish last night. Fred's came actually early, early this morning first as the light. sun was literally first showing itself. Um, what time did we get this other one? Four. This four, one? Yeah, 4 a.m. And the, and the bigger one we got at about 4 a.m. Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's why there's a mat here, though. <laughs> it's just fucking <laughs> dumb. When, I, when his weight fell, you, yeah. it slung me backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let me tell you something, folks. Those rods paired up with those reels handled both of these fish through weeds. Um, Fred's fish through everything. Uh. We think we had a drop back, and um, it didn't drop back enough for us to know yeah. at first. Because there was a first, like, did he... And that's why we came out in the first place. Then all of a sudden it just started tearing off. And that time it was already clear across the freaking river. So it's really cool. And we got a couple of just absolute, beautiful. absolutely gorgeous fish. Yeah, just freaking great. So, you know, I've been doing this now for a while with Fred. But, it, you know, carp fishing is one of the many types of fishing that I do, whereas, like, carp fishing is Fred's, like, life. And he's actually been using some really nice rods. This is my first time, like, ever using quality carp rods with my stuff. And it makes a huge freaking difference, not only in the casting, but in fighting the fish even more so. Like, I felt so much more confident uh, fighting this fish than I have like ever with my own gear. Like yeah. when I'm fighting fish with your gear, sometimes it's a little off because your clutchless reels uh, throw me off. But when it comes to the rod, I, I never have an issue. Now, like last night with this fish was just like it was perfect. Everything went perfect. Um, and I'm sure obviously that's not gonna always be the case, but last night it was freaking perfect. Fred, uh, like I said, Fred's been doing this for a while and he got to uh, really experience a good fight last night because of the, the drop back that we had and this fish was clearly in a ton of stuff. So, Fred, take over real quick and Just let the splash, people know. Splash a little bit of water out of these All right. Well, early this morning, I landed this beautiful little common. And uh, it was my first time fighting a fish on Todd's new century rods. I'll tell you one thing, everything's great about them. From feeling your lead down, you just, it's just such a hard donk, you know, you can just feel it perfect. Uh, playing the fish, you know, everything. It's, when I wanted that direct contact with the fish, I had it, it was there. Hands down, new favorite rods. 
Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Let's babies go. Let's go, Fred. Bye, baby. Whoa! What a beaut. Yeah. Sun. Whoa! Yep. Short and sweet, ladies and gents. Yes, sir. That's how we do it. Two fish in a bag. <laughs> awesome night. Literally didn't bait up, didn't do anything. We got kicked out of our first spot. Uh, I probably should have pulled out the camera. The cops came. It was great. Intro was in Lowell, right? I thought we were in Bill Rico, but I don't know. We were in Bill Rico. Anyways, um, yeah, just... Got kicked out, and then we were like, Fred was like, you know what? Let's go here. And my goodness, I I love being in nature and stuff, but when you can come and do some city fishing like this, you know, it's just great. It's nice. It's a lovely morning. The sky is beautiful. And this is where I grew up. This is, I'm literally right down the street from where I grew up as a little kid, and I'm stoked. Anyways, guys, whew, these setups... These setups are just insane. Wow, 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 wow. Emblem 45s on the centuries. Whew. I don't even remember all the things I just said, but I said a lot and then uh, I hit stop and I actually was not recording, so I actually hit record. I don't know what I said. I do know I'm in love with these rods. I'm freaking absolutely just beyond thankful for uh, Rafael and Fred. Um, I can't believe this thing. Like, I personally would never, ever have been able to afford a setup like this. These three rods uh, and these three reels are absolutely unbelievable they're literally just ferraris it's so freaking cool um so huge thanks to fred because without fred i never would have met rafael um and huge thanks to rafael for asking me to join the team guys carpangler.com for all your carpy needs make sure you get on over there if you need anything it's only five dollars flat shipping unlike the other company uh that there is out there that charges you an arm three legs and your firstborn uh, to get things shipped to you, and they have terrible customer service. Right, Fred? Terrible customer service. Fred's their customer service department. So, he just basically tells everybody to piss off. I just tell them to send their gear back, and then I keep it. <laughs> That's actually what happened to Fred. Um, so, carpangler.com, the best in America. Ladies and gentlemen, carp fishing is taking over people are finally like realizing that carp fishing is better and i think it's like really catching on and i love that um and i love the people in the carp fishing world so make sure you guys go over to carp carpangler.com uh, for your carp stuff and make sure you go on the um carp angler facebook group because there's a lot of crazy shenanigans that happen there you'll get to see like when we're going to be doing live stuff and all that Raf does a ton of giveaways, does a tons of, of great deals on the website pretty much every time he goes live and stuff like that. So make sure you tune in because lots of stuff is coming. You get a lot of carpy things coming your way. Um, hopefully some giant tuna stuff too, man. I've been going out a bunch and I haven't gotten my giant this year. Um, my friends have been getting them and then when I go out, we don't. So that's great. I've been putting in a lot of time and effort and videos you guys don't get to see. But, uh... <laughs> Ready? Giant tune on the sentry rod? That would get spooled real fast. Um, 
But no, this has been freaking great for a tiny session. Like, literally came out last night at 8 o'clock. We got kicked out at 8, like, 03. But they told us we could stay till 9. So we fished an hour at the first spot, not a single bite. And then we came here. Yep. You know? It took us, like, what, four hours to get a fish? Tiny session, two fish yep. on the bank on the new rods both fred and i are ridiculously ridiculously impressed thank you guys for tuning in we'll catch you on the next one fish on boom wrangling <laughs>